This is a demonstration of Hyperlink's line sim. This design is a DDR data line and I'm going to demonstrate how changing the technology, the termination and the topology of the design will help me get it working. My initial simulation will show that in fact I have a few problems. First of all I have multiple thresholding problems uh, on the rising edge and I don't even meet my threshold value on the falling edge. First of all let's look at the technology. Well the driving device in this case is a vertex device and I note that this is a class 1 driver. On this multi drop kind of design I should be using a class 2 driver and it's fairly straightforward to implement that by changing the model. Now I can re-simulate to see what just the effect of that one change will be. And as expected I get more voltage swing. Now I need to look at the termination. There's a series resistor and a pull-up resistor on this particular design. Changing the series resistor should give me more voltage swing again by making it smaller and the smallest value in this case will be 22 ohms and straight away I can view how that has changed the waveform. I now have sufficient voltage swing to reach the thresholds however I still do not like this multiple thresholding or this non-monotonic behaviour between the thresholds on the falling edge. So let's look at the pull-up resistor Currently that's 50 ohms, let's make that smaller as well. But remember that this pulls to VREF and not to the supply voltage. Now I'll make that the smallest possible value. And again, re-simulate. Much squarer waveforms and possibly getting somewhere like I would design the rising edge, but still the falling edge is not very attractive. Okay, let's go to the final thing, the topology, or, or the lengths of the line in this case. There is a trace from the series resistor to the first dim. Let's look at the length of that. Currently over 4 inches long. Let's make it short because generally we know shorter is better for traces. And then again re-simulate. OK, so now I'm getting somewhere like where I need to be. However, I'm a little concerned about the threshold value being near to these waveforms down here. I'm just wondering if I can make this transition happen later in time, therefore give me more overshoot. And the way to do this will be to add distance between the four dim devices. So looking at these three pieces of trace. Again, if I simply double click, I can see that currently they are 0.8 of inch long. Let's add some extra length in. And again, this may seem to be counterintuitive, but the cost of doing this is fairly low. It takes me a few moments to type these values in simply to discover whether it makes the situation better or whether it makes it worse. And now I go back to my simulation and it looks like I'm getting to a far nicer state. Perhaps the last thing to look at is the, this length of line at the very end which is from the final dim out to the pull-up resistor. Currently the length of that is around 0.6 of an inch. Let's just see what would happen if it was significantly longer, say three times longer, just in case I can't get ideal routing for that pull-up resistor. Again, re-simulate. And we can see when we compare it with the shorter net exactly what the effect of changing the length of that piece of topology is. And in this case, we can see it's not critical. And I'll, now I'm quite happy I have this design working 